are using LUTs wrong, like totally, completely wrong. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I'm an Adobe Premiere Pro user and I love editing with Adobe Premiere and I also use a lot of LUTs within Premiere Pro. However, using LUTs in Premiere Pro isn't the most uh, efficient. You have to click on the drop down menu, browse through wherever your LUTs are located, and it just makes it so time consuming and very tedious, especially if you just wanna quickly glance through each LUT just to see what kind of effect it does to your footage. Now, I use my own custom made LUTs, and for the longest time, I've always wanted those LUTs to appear in the drop down menu of Lumetri, and I haven't been able to figure it out until today. And so my friends, I'm gonna show you how to install LUTs that are directly embedded within Premiere Pro so that it appears in the drop-down menu of Lumetri. Ooh, so excited. Okay, so here we are in Premiere Pro and this is the clip that we're going to use. Now to apply a LUT, there are typically two ways to do it. You can do it through the basic correction tab and click on the drop-down menu and you can uh, select a LUT that's been pre-installed by Adobe or use a LUT that you purchase or made for yourself and do it that way. I like to use technical LUTs in this section and if you don't know what technical LUTs are, it's basically a LUT that brings your log footage back into the Rec. 709 color space to help you color correct and color grade properly. A second type of LUT is called a creative LUT and that's a LUT that you can use to emulate a specific film look on your footage. And I like to apply those LUTs in the creative tab of Lumetri by clicking on this drop down menu. And here you can try the different pre-installed LUTs to see what your footage might look like. And so I'm just kind of browsing through. But if you want to use a LUT that you purchased or already made, you have to click on browse, search for your specific LUT and apply your LUT that way. Now it can get pretty tedious, especially if you have to browse through different folders to find specific LUTs. It'd be much, much, much easier if your LUT was available in this drop-down menu. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so installing your LUTs in Premiere Pro is actually pretty easy. On the screen are two different pathways, one for Mac and one for PC. And all you have to do is copy and paste whatever LUT you want in those directories. And that's it. There are a couple things that you're gonna to have to do first and so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Since I'm using a Mac, I'm gonna show you how to do it this way. It should be pretty similar on a PC, so just try to follow along. So I'm gonna to go to the pathway on the Mac and so that'll be through library, application support, Adobe, go down to common, and here is where we wanna make our first change. Right click, make a new folder, and depending on your security, you're gonna to have to put in a password, but once you're in the clear, the new folder that you're going to make will be called LUTs. Cool. Now within the LUTs folder, you're going to make two subfolders. One will be called technical so that you can copy and paste your technical LUTs in this folder. And the other one will be creative so that you can copy and paste your creative LUTs here. Since I just made a brand new LUT pack, we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste those LUTs into the creative folder. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so here we go. Some revives, we're going to highlight all, command C for copy, click on the creative folder, command V for paste, and there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and relaunch Premiere. I'm gonna close this out. Sure, we'll save it for now. All right, and launch it again. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and go to the Creative tab and click on the drop down. And boom, there are my custom LUTs installed directly within Premiere Pro. So now I can quickly browse and use each LUT to see what it does to my footage. So we'll do some revives bold. That's pretty cool. Uh, if, if I want, I can increase the intensity of the LUT or reduce it. I can even uh, make some adjustments in the basic correction tab over here if I wanted to. If I don't like that, then I can go ahead and switch through another LUT. Let's do, uh, let's do Polaroid and let's go ahead and increase the intensity. So I have that really cool faded look. If you still don't like that, let's quickly choose another one. Let's do pinkish, lower the intensity of that. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and choose another one. Let's do golden hour. That looks quite nice. And so it's just really cool that you can quickly browse and use LUTs to see what it does to your footage really, really quickly. Also, if you purchase a technical LUT or made one on your own, then you wanna put those LUTs in the technical folder. And once you launch Premiere Pro or relaunch it, you can find those LUTs right over here. And boom. I'm not sure if there's a similar or faster way to do it in Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve. And so if you do use those programs and you know the answer, then definitely share your tips in the comments below. But if you do use Premiere Pro and you're looking for a faster way to browse and use LUTs to see what it does to your footage, then this is the way to do it. All right, guys, well, that is it for me. Hopefully that was helpful to you. And let me know what your experience using this little technique does for your workflow. Hopefully it'll help improve your workflow and not like destroy your computer. I hope it doesn't. Ooh. If it does, I, I'm, I'm terribly, terribly sorry. If you're looking for someone to blame, then blame Phil. But I'm out of here. I'm gonna go test out a brand new drone that I just got, but I'll see you in the next one. Bye.